Hello everyone, Von Yuki here with another video. This time I'm going to be talking about the Toshiba 3.4 HFX 8.4. And the reason why I had to say it slowly is because I wanted to make sure I have the right one because there's an HF and there's an HFX as in X-ray. So I got this TV pretty much for free. Uh, there's a spot that I go buy most of my electronic equipment and they had this TV sitting here uh, this 34 inch HDCRT for about a year and instead of it taking to the recycling dump they said hey Bon do you want this TV and I was like well I'll go by and check it out and so I went there with my my friend and uh, I picked up the, the I brought the time sloot with me and we did some testing on it I was like you know what the lag is pretty low I'll get into that in a moment but right now I just want to show you this is 1080i running off a PlayStation 4 uh, this is not the PlayStation 4 Pro Although the PlayStation 4 Pro does do 1080i, but this is what I call the PS4 uh, Amateur. It's a little small one that's sitting right there. So what does this Toshiba do versus anything else that I have in the house? Well, I do have the Sony X34 XBRs. They're upstairs. I have three of them. And here I'm just going to be showing off that this can do 1080i. Um, can do 1080, 720p, 480p. It actually does do 240p, but it processes it as 40i, which is obviously not very good. You don't want to do that. So um, you just have to look and see. And I'm just, you know, going through the menus right now. But I don't think it's going to work because I don't think I have this account. Yeah, this account's not online. But I can show off stuff like training mode and whatnot. But as you can see, the PlayStation 4, 1080i, no problem. Uh, Xbox 360 will be no problem. And a lot of people want to ask is like, hey, how does this thing handle 480p? Now, what's nice about Toshiba's, uh, I had one previously. If you're members of this channel, you'll look back a few years ago. I had one. Uh, it was a Toshiba 30 HF85. And from what people have been saying, it was outsourced to a company named Orion, I believe. And here, look, you can see the, the 1080i interlacing going on. So Orion, um, more or less, they were outsourced these TVs and they would make it in their own way and they would cut corners and whatnot. Apparently this TV, being a Toshiba, um, is actually made by Toshiba and they did not cut corners. So it actually is one of their homegrown TVs. So this was made by Toshiba in-house and that's great. Um, this TV does have two HDMI's. It has two component inputs. It has a lot of audio out. It's actually quite nice. It's pretty robust what it can do. But I know everyone's thinking, I was like, well, Bon, that's nice and all, but how does the lag? Well, I could tell you with confidence uh, on the Time Sleuth, I recorded lag on 1080i. It's basically lagless. We're talking less than zero. It's like 0 0.03 millisecond or like three microseconds. It's really, really small. Uh, another thing you can look at is 720p. Now here's where it gets interesting. 720p over HDMI was 24 millisecond, 24, okay? Over component, it was the same. Matter of fact, I can tell you component HDMI on this television don't seem to matter. So if you have stuff that's component, that you want to run into this, it'll be the same as it would be going HDMI. All right, I'm confident in that. So what you're looking at this right here is a television that can handle 1080, 1080i and 540p, more on that later, lagless, and for 720p, it is actually a frame and a half at 60 hertz. And that's what this TV runs at 60 hertz. Now, the reason why I want to give 40p its own light there's an option on this television, just like the other Toshiba that I had, that you have two ways to process 480p. You can process 480p as either 1080i or 540p in a window. So how do you do that? You go into the menu options and you just go to display and one of the, one of the items in there, it'll say 1080i or 540p. 1080i looks pretty much like this, but you have your little bit of flicker, you could see it. 540p does not have that flicker, but you do pay it input lag tax. So with 540p engaged, you're looking at input delay of 24 milliseconds, just like 720p. 
When it is at 1080i, however, it drops down to 20 milliseconds. So you have to ask yourself, is the eye strain worth the four millisecond? That's what you have to ask yourself. So for those guys, like I have 40p right here. That Xbox, I have an original OG Xbox right there. And then I have a Nintendo Wii, which both kick out 40p. And I'm running them in component and I do have the option. So for certain games where lag is really, really king, I'll probably leave it 1080i. But then there are games that lag's not gonna matter that much. So I'll just play 540p. I, I have a little bit more lag. I mean, it's four millisecond. Am I really gonna feel it? Probably not, but it'll look nicer to the eyes. Uh, another thing I had to do is get into the service menu. It's pretty easy. You just hold down mute and press the menu button on the TV and it gets you in the service menu. You'll see like an S for, you know, for Steve. And then you just go through the menus and I had to adjust the overscan a little bit. It was, it was quite a bit overscan. This is probably the best it's gonna get where it's maintaining a centered picture. Um, and as you can see here, I'm moving Robert. Uh, Isla's a little bit in the corner. It's not too bad. Let's see how it looks like when I put Isla in first player side corner. And like I said, it's not too bad. So you could definitely play on this and the lag, it's lag free. It's great. So the thing I'll say about this television, I mean, if you can get one of these, um, apparently this is a Toshiba made. I can't confirm that. But I did have the Orion one, uh, the 30 HF85. And that one, even at 1080i, we're talking 30 millisecond. And it had a rolling lag. Basically, the lag was not stable. This one, it's rock solid stable. So if you're playing 720p, I guess you can treat it like a frame meister. It's a frame and a half. Um, you still get the benefits of LC, uh, excuse me, CRT over LCD, which is better, better, better color, um, better contrast, that sort of thing. So you it's a good thing to have um understand though that this is a crt it has a large back it is a big tv it doesn't look like it from front because it's a flat screen and whatnot but once i get to the side which is what i'll do right now I'll take this to the side you'll see that this is a humdinger right here i mean this comes out from the wall quite a bit it's not as bad as my sony's upstairs but it does this one has a big bumper if you know what i'm saying but yeah, pretty solid TV. Like I said, it, if, you, if as long as you're feeding it 1080i and 540p, you should be pretty good. Now, 540p, people are asking, like, well, what uses 540p? Two things that I have, well, I don't have. I have one of them. Um, my buddy brought over his RetroTink 5X Pro and the firmware as of 2.39, not the latest firmware, the one before, did have a 540p output mode. So what we did was we took the uh, Xbox, which is a 40p console, 720p, whatnot. We fed it 40p from the Xbox, kicked it out 540p, and this TV, unlike my Sony's upstairs, will take 540p over HDMI, which is great. Because the ones I saw, I have three of them upstairs, only one of them takes 540p, and it only takes it over a component. It won't take it over HDMI. So this TV will take a 540p over component. So if you own a RetroTINK 5X Pro and you want to put your older consoles on this bad boy, it will work with the RetroTINK 5X in 540p. I can guarantee it. I've done it myself. Another item that I have is taking the line mode that's very similar to the RetroTINK 5X Pro and it, putting in the mister, and that'll work also. The aspect ratio will be a little off because we're looking at something that, you know, the games aren't meant to be in this weird aspect ratio of 540p. But if you just mess around with the settings and it'll look okay. So, yeah, this TV, I, I didn't pay anything for it. It was going to go into the junk heap. I'd rather salvage it. It's right next to my arcade cabinet, which, you know, that has a very, it's an okay LCD, a 1080p uh, HDMI VR screen. And now I have this one here and I put the PlayStation on it because I'll be honest with you guys, it has less lag looks a hell of a lot better and it's a crt man once you go crt i mean even this old little over here the 77 inch c1 um it's nice and all but the crt when it comes to gaming beats it out so just my little psa out there some people have been asking to put a video of what do high hd games look like and modern games look like in, um, on an hd crt um, I wouldn't consider King of Fighters 15 like a you know big time game, but coming off Combo Break was the number two fighting game there, 660 attendance, so it's it's growing and uh, hopefully more and more people play, especially if they're playing on a CRT. 
Anyway, folks, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Thank you.